A sorting algorithm is an algorithm that puts elements of a list in a certain order. The most used orders are numerical order and lexicographical order. Efficient sorting is important for optimizing the use of other algorithms which require input data to be in sorted lists. It is also often useful for canonicalizing data and for producing human-readable output. More formally, the output must satisfy two conditions. The output is in non-decreasing order. The output is a permutation of the input. Further, the data is often taken to be in an array, which allows random access, rather than a list, which only allows sequential access. Though often algorithms can be applied with suitable modification to either type of data. Since the dawn of computing, the sorting problem has attracted a great deal of research. Perhaps due to the complexity of solving it efficiently despite its simple, familiar statement. For example, bubble sort was analyzed as early as 1956. A fundamental limit of comparison sorting algorithms is that they require linear rhythmic time o, in the worst case. Though better performance is possible on real-world data, and algorithms not based on comparisons, such as counting sort, can have better performance. Although many consider sorting a solved problem, asymptotically optimal algorithms have been known since the mid-20th century. Useful new algorithms are still being invented, with the now widely used TIM sort dating to 2002, and the library Me sort being first published in 2006. Sorting algorithms are prevalent in introductory computer science classes where the abundance of algorithms for the problem provides a gentle introduction to a variety of core algorithm concepts, such as big O notation, divide and conquer algorithms, data structures such as heaps and binary trees, randomize algorithms, best, worst and average case analysis, time-space trade-offs, and upper and lower bounds, classification. Sorting algorithms are often classified by computational complexity in terms of the size of the list. For typical serial sorting algorithms good behavior is O, with parallel sorting O, and bad behavior is O. Ideal behavior for a serial sort is O, but this is not possible in the average case. Optimal parallel sorting is O. Comparison-based sorting algorithms need at least O comparisons for most inputs. Computational complexity of swaps Memory usage. In particular, some sorting algorithms are in place. Strictly, an in place sort needs only O memory beyond the items being sorted, sometimes O additional memory is considered in place. Recursion. Some algorithms are either recursive or non recursive, while others may be both. Stability. Stable sorting algorithms maintain the relative order of records with equal keys. Whether or not they are a comparison sort, a comparison sort examines the data only by comparing two elements with a comparison operator. General method, insertion, exchange, selection, merging, etc. Exchange sorts include bubble sort and quick sort. Selection sorts include shaker sort and heap sort. Also whether the algorithm is serial or parallel. The remainder of this discussion almost exclusively concentrates upon serial algorithms and assumes serial operation. Adaptability. Whether or not the pre-sortedness of the input affects the running time. Algorithms that take this into account are known to be adaptive. Stability when sorting some kinds of data, only part of the data is examined when determining the sort order. For example, in the card sorting example to the right, the cards are being sorted by their rank, and their suit is being ignored. This allows the possibility of multiple different correctly sorted versions of the original list. Stable sorting algorithms choose one of these, according to the following rule. If two items compare as equal, like the two five cards, then their relative order will be preserved, so that if one came before the other in the input, it will also come before the other in the output. More formally, the data being sorted can be represented as a record or tuple of values. 
and the part of the data that is used for sorting is called the key. In the card example, cards are represented as a record, and the key is the rank. A sorting algorithm is stable if whenever there are two records R and S with the same key, and R appears before S in the original list, then R will always appear before S in the sorted list. When equal elements are indistinguishable, such as with integers, or more generally, any data where the entire element is the key, stability is not an issue. Stability is also not an issue if all keys are different. Unstable sorting algorithms can be specially implemented to be stable. One way of doing this is to artificially extend the key comparison, so that comparisons between two objects with otherwise equal keys are decided using the order of the entries in the original input list is a tiebreaker. Remembering this order, however, may require additional time and space. One application for stable sorting algorithms is sorting a list using a primary and secondary key. For example, suppose we wish to sort a hand of cards such that the suits are in the order clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, and within each suit, the cards are sorted by rank. This can be done by first sorting the cards by rank, and then doing a stable sort by suit. Within each suit, the stable sort preserves the ordering by rank that was already done. This idea can be extended to any number of keys, and is leveraged by radix sort. The same effect can be achieved with an unstable sort by using a lexicographic key comparison, which e.g., compares first by suit, and then compares by rank if the suits are the same. Comparison of algorithms in this table, n is the number of records to be sorted. The columns, average, and worst, give the time complexity in each case, under the assumption that the length of each key is constant, and that therefore all comparisons, swaps, and other needed operations can proceed in constant time. Memory, denotes the amount of auxiliary storage needed beyond that used by the list itself, under the same assumption. The runtimes and the memory requirements listed below should be understood to be inside big O notation. Hence the base of the logarithms does not matter. The notation log 2n means 2. These are all comparison sorts, and so cannot perform better than O in the average or worst case. The following table describes integer sorting algorithms and other sorting algorithms that are not comparison sorts. As such, they are not limited by a o lower bound. Complexities below assume n items to be sorted, with keys of size k, digit size d, and are the range of numbers to be sorted. Many of them are based on the assumption that the key size is large enough that all entries have unique key values, and hence that n 2k, where means much less than. In the unit cost random access machine model, algorithms with running time of, such as radix sort, still take time proportional to theta because on is limited to be not more than, and a larger number of elements to sort would require a bigger k in order to store them in the memory. Sample sort can be used to parallelize any of the non-comparison sorts, by efficiently distributing data into several buckets and then passing down sorting to several processes. With no need to merge as buckets are already sorted between each other. The following table describes some sorting algorithms that are impractical for real-life use due to extremely poor performance or specialized hardware requirements. Theoretical computer scientists have detailed other sorting algorithms that provide better than O time complexity assuming additional constraints including Hans algorithm, a deterministic algorithm for sorting keys from a domain of finite size, taking O time and a space. Thorip's algorithm, a randomized algorithm for sorting keys from a domain of finite size, taking O time and a space. A randomized integer sorting algorithm taking expected time and a space.